let's jumpstart today talking about dust. In Genesis, God says, I used dust to make you, and when you die, you will become dust again. Okay, so there we have it. God's giving us the scoop about how we got started and how we're gonna end. And I appreciate that, I really do. But what God doesn't do here is give us a heads up about the other part of that scenario. The other part being the space of in-between time we have on this earth. And there's another little glitch to consider. He's the only one that knows the exact amount of time each of us have between that beginning and that end. So, what's up? What do you find yourself doing with that in-between time? What is it exactly that's taking up so much room on that calendar? Hold on, not so fast. Don't let this part of the question just roll off your back. If you aren't sure, then stop a minute. If you have a way to press a pause button, pause me if you can, and think about what has been the most recurrent thing that's occupied your thoughts and actions for the last 24 to 48 hours. I'll wait while you think. Does it in any way, shape, or form have to do with you? If it does, you're in good company. Most of us live our lives keeping everything in some way or another centered around our own little world and what's happening in it. I mean, if we're really honest here, in most of our decision making, we subconsciously, maybe even instinctively, consider first what's in it for me. How's it gonna affect my life? You see, the truth of the matter is, is that we don't like dancing around and kicking up our own dust. We like things neat and clean, settled and predictable. It's where we're most comfortable. So today, let's ask him if he would help us kick up a little of that dust to teach us how to step outside of ourselves and into the needs of others. To think about giving of ourselves, not to ourselves. So at the end of our earthly life, when he finds our shoes tattered, dirty, and full of dust, the reason will be perfectly clear. We were one of the ones in the in-between who kicked up that dust and danced for him. Go make it a great day and I'll see you next time.